Hey everyone, it's Jay and I'm back. And today I'm going to talk to you about another DevOps related tool that we uh, are lucky enough to have part of our tool chest of things that we can build with uh, on Azure. So I wanna show you how simple it is to start building with Ansible and uh, Azure. Now you could, if you want to, install Ansible on your local workstation. Oh, I don't have it. Oh, because I didn't spell it right. Oh, and I don't have it. In. So how do I install Ansible on my computer? Well, the easiest way is to brew install Ansible. And what will happen is if you're using a Mac, a homebrew will go and grab Ansible for you, install it locally, and then give you the binary in your path so that you can start using it. Now, let's say you don't want to install it locally on your computer. Uh, there are options for you to build with Ansible quickly. So um, what is Ansible? It's, as they call it, is automation for everyone. It is part of a tool that allows you to uh, automate, accelerate, collaborate, and integrate. All right. Um, what really it could do, and to make it really simple, is um, as you can see, we can install Ansible on our computer. But if we open up the Azure Cloud Shell by going to shell.azure.com, we'll also see that we can use Ansible here. Wow. Look at that, so it's already installed. I didn't have to do anything to install Ansible on the Cloud Shell, it's already there. Um, so what I can actually start doing if I want to, uh, is if you go into this Ansible directory, I should say Azure directory, you can see I've got some Ansible playbooks already in there. So let's go into this Azure create right here. And what I have here is a create Azure VM uh, playbook that I've created. Now, really what I've done is I've based it off of a very, very simple playbook that we keep here on the docs. And all you really need to do is go in and uh, modify to put in some of this. And what it'll do is actually spin up an image for you that you can start SSHing into now. Uh, the things that I made some changes from, let's make this a little bigger for you. So things that I did here, and you, you can see is, and I, I'm not gonna scroll down anymore on this side because uh, what I actually did was put in my key data. So I popped in my SSH key and um, I put it in here so when I actually create the user on the VM we're gonna create. So let, let, let's go through this uh, playbook real quick. So the playbook does a few things. Um, first, it, it the name establishes what we're going to do. We're gonna create an Azure VM. The local host is where this work is going to actually be run from. And so in this case, we could be doing it from say Cloud Shell, or if we wanted to, we also have Ansible installed locally, uh, as you can see, and we can just type Ansible. And you can see now it's in my, uh, my local. So I could use it either spot and I can uh, add the correct um, AZ, information so az login it'll have me log into the azure uh group so i can pick my account and all that blah 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 uh you won't need to do that here in azure cloud shell because obviously you're already logged in so let's go through this uh complete Ansible playbook and talk about what it is doing so uh, it starts out by creating um, the tasks itself. So we're going to create a resource group. Uh, as you can see, uh, I just changed it here to uh, uh, JR, JGRG, J Gordon resource group. And here I picked a location, East US. We create a virtual network or a VNet. We give it a name. We give the, ad, uh, the actual subnets that we're going to create. So we add a subnet here. So this is the virtual network that we create. This is the full seeder that we have for it. And then we add a subnet here and we create the prefix for that specific subnet. And then we go ahead and create a public IP address and we assign it to a network device and a security group. We allow SSH in through that security group. We create this network virtual uh, interface card and then as you can see, the uh, network gets applied to it, the subnet gets applied to it, the IP, the security group all get applied to that network device. Then we eventually create a virtual machine. Uh, in this case, we do it with CentOS. I'm doing it with uh, Ubuntu on my other. And then uh, 
before we get there, what you can see is we, uh, we create a VM, we specify the size, and if you want to see VM sizes, VM sizes, Azure, you can always go in here and see the different types of Azure VM Linux sizes that we may need. Um, so we have all the different types and we'll make sure that you get this information uh, in the notes for this video. So let's go back here and let's start saying, well, how do I get all this to turn into something? Well, pretty easy. Let's close up the file. And the file is here in my home J Azure directory. And as you can see, it's in this directory where I have a file called create uh, Azure create com uh, complete. So all I have to do, and let's make it a little bigger so you can see it. Uh, never mind. Let's type Ansible playbook. Hey, you know, sometimes you get video uh, alerts. Anyway, Ansible playbook. And then what we'll do is we'll do Azure complete, create complete VM. And then what it's going to do is start building everything. Uh, don't worry about these. These are not, uh, these are just warnings. Uh, so what it's going to go through is it's going to get information from the playbook and it's going to create all the necessary parts that we're going to want. Uh, so let's let this run through and I'll be right back. I'm back. Sorry for the hard cut. Um, but as you can see, it went through all of the different parts of our playbook and it created all of our resources and that includes telling us the public IP uh, but let's do one thing that's even easier first uh, let, let's see what it created so we've got our portal open here let's go over to this area where it'll have our resource groups great and so you can see here JGRG that is the resource group that I created And within there is the demo Ansible machine that we created, uh, the network group, the network security group, the IP, the virtual network, and the storage account. And if we want to just grab this IP, SSH, Azure user. There we go. So now if I want to, I can install uh, more complex playbooks. I can create additional VMs that I can eventually install those playbooks on and do more with it. So that's how you can really start getting started using Ansible. And you don't even have to install anything locally. Uh, you could do it just right all here in the cloud shell. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. It's uh, at jdestro on Twitter or uh, send me uh, any of your questions in the YouTube column, uh, YouTube questions box below, uh, comments box, whatever. Uh, feel free and we'll talk again soon. So thanks again for watching and thanks, bye-bye. Oh yeah, and he's sleeping. He appreciates you keeping quiet while he sleeps. Thank you.